Hey everybody, welcome to another class. What we're going to do today is we're going to work on the Big Bang Theory. Okay, So we're going to do role play where we're, um, where we're talking about the Big Bang Theory. Okay, let me, uh, let me see something here. Something, adjust the settings in here for a second. Just go ahead. Alright, so those of you that have, um, that have the um, that have the uh, sorry that have reservations you'll be able to join class early those of you that want to find out about reservations let me show you here so all you need to do is just go to verbling.com um, forward slash get reservations okay that's all you'll need to do and let's see we have a few people here that are waiting for class okay so good they have reservations they could get in there and they could secure their seat in class all right let me make sure. Let me check one other thing here as well. Hi, it was Joe. Hi, how are you? Hello, was Joe. Can you hear me? Hello? Okay. Hi, hi Amin, how are you? Fine, hi teacher, how are you? Doing well, doing well, welcome to class, welcome to class. Hi Ahmed, how are you? Hey. I'm doing well, Brett. And you? Doing well, doing well. My um, for some reason my Google Hangouts not letting me select my headphones, but I don't know why that is. But who knows? Who knows? But uh, we'll be able to have class, no problem. Okay, let's see who else is here now. Hello, Diego. Hello, Diego. Okay, guys, make sure that you click on your um, mute button when you come in. Your microphone's naturally going to be muted. Hello, Evelyn, how are you? Yeah, and you probably need to click on your mute as well. So let me let me show you guys. Okay, all right. Let me show you something here. So guys, when you come into class, your microphone will probably be red. Need to un unclick that, okay? You, you guys can hear me, right? I mean, Ahmed, you guys can hear me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah Brett. Okay, okay, good, good. So, Diego, hey, Diego, you, you've taken many classes. What's going on? Diego, hello. Hi, teacher. Hey. No, the problem is, I, I, was, I was entering to the class and I couldn't. Unmute my microphone, so uh, okay. I, okay. I was just waiting. No, for no problem, no problem, no problem. Hello, Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. How are you? Hi. And yeah, Evelyn, you'll probably have to unmute your microphone. Okay, click that red microphone button. Okay, and uh, hi, um, boy, man, I don't know why. I still have the most difficult time pronouncing this name. Um, Isa, Isa Aeus. Hi, teacher. Isa Aeus. Isa, 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 Isa Call me Francisco. I think it's <laughs> more easy for you. <laughs> yeah, Isa Aeus. Isa Aeus, right? You're right. Okay. All right. And hello, MD. MD Fardin. Hi, MD. How are you? Yeah, so 
So guys, those of you that are having problems with your microphone and everything else, okay? And no problem, no problem, Diego. Okay, those of you that are having problems with your microphone, um, go ahead and li listen here. So Evelyn, yeah, Evelyn, what you need to do is you need to close the verbling window. So close the verbling window. You have the verbling window open, okay? And hello, MD. Okay. Hello, Tiago. Hey, Brett. How are you doing? Doing well, doing well. Good. Oh, very good. To good. good to good see you, Good to see you, too. Veronica. Hello, Veronica. Hi. How are you? Good, good, good. And again, I can always remember where you're from because you have that cow in the back. I can always remember you're yes. from Argentina. I'm with the best beef. So good, good. Good to see you in class. Uh, Weezo. Hi, Weezo. WSJO. Are you talking to me? Um, I have your name pointed over it, and it says WSJO Pazna. So, yeah. yeah okay. Talking, Can you I'm call talking. me Julie? Uh, actually, I can't, Julie, because I have a very simple mind, and I'm not going to remember people's different names. Okay, so I'll try to react to that then. Yeah, try to try to change that, just because it's easier for us teachers. But I'll try to remember Julie throughout this class. But if I call you by this Thank name, you. it's just because this is on here. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. No problem. Where are you from? I'm from Poland. You're from Poland? Okay, all right, good. Good. Well, welcome, welcome to class. So uh, let's see here. So MD? Yeah, hello. Okay, good, good. Hey, MD, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. How are good. you? Doing well, doing well, doing well. Where are you from, MD? I'm from India. Oh, fantastic. Good, very good. Okay, and let's see. Um, Evelyn, hey Evelyn, don't worry, Evelyn, you'll get it working. So, did you close? Did you close the verbling window? That's why you hear an echo. That's why you hear multiple voices. It can drive somebody crazy. It can drive them certainly batty. But Evelyn, do you did you click your microphone here, Evelyn? So, if you click that, Evelyn, um, then the only thing left for you that I can help you with is um, in here, okay, all right, there you go, so the only thing else is click on here, that's the only thing I can tell you Evelyn, but Evelyn, um, and I know it's frustrating, but you have to have a working microphone, okay, all right, everything, everything has to be working. So those are the rules with the Hangout. There's a lot of people that want to have your seat, Evelyn. So you have you have to figure it out, okay? All right. Sorry, I don't I don't know what else to tell you to do. I mean, I want to help you as much as humanly possible, but uh, I I can't really um, do anything else than what I've been able to do. So let's see here. So let me share with you all. This is uh this is the episode. So what we're working on right now is we're working on role play where we're all going to play the parts of different people here um, in this. Yeah, Evelyn, I'm sorry. You, you have to, you'll have to go now and, and fix your microphone, okay? All right. So um, what we do here is we play the parts of different people on this television show called The Big Bang Theory, all right? Okay. And uh, what I'll do is just call on people for each one of the scenes. You know, television shows have scenes. So I'll call on you for various scenes here, okay? Hi, Marina. Okay. And Thulo's here as well. Hey, Thulo. Okay. This must be, um, I can't get my microphone working day. Okay. By the way, guys, I, under, I do understand and I sympathize with the fact that um, many of you are struggling because your connection drops and so forth. I'm going to give you this link, all right? This is not a VPN, so those of you that start screaming up and down, oh, it's a VPN, or it'll slow it down. It's not a VPN. It's Google DNS. Get this set up, and then when you get this set up, it'll help with your connection to the Google Hangouts. Hence, Google DNS, Google Hangouts, it'll help you, okay? I promise you. Christina. Hello, Christina. Hi. Hello, Christina. Hey, you guys can still hear me, right? Right, uh, Ahmed? 
Yeah, okay. Wow, I don't know what is going on today. This is just insane. Hello, Bruno. Okay. <laughs> if, if some students could just stay in class. Oh, my gosh. So, Christina, how are you? Yeah, Christina, click the red microphone, okay? You're probably muted. Yeah, click the red microphone. Okay. Hey, guys, let's just get class started. Or otherwise, this is just going to go on forever and ever. For those of you that are joining, all right, I'm going to give you the link here. If you, if you um, have problems with your system, all right, all you need to do is check this out here, okay? If you, uh, if you can't get your system working, you're going you're gonna to have to go out and then come back, okay? So, um, Ahmed, are you ready? Yeah, I'm always. You're always ready. You can say I was born ready, okay? Uh, Ahmed, you're going to be Sheldon, okay? You'll be Sheldon. So anytime that you see this part here with Sheldon, you're going to read. You're going to be Sheldon, okay? okay. All right? Okay. And then, um, and then uh, Amin. Amin, you're going to be Leonard, okay? What, teacher? You will be Leonard. Leonard. If you can see on the screen, you'll be Leonard. Anytime that we read Leonard, you'll be Leonard, okay? Okay. Okay, good, good. Okay, Diego. Diego, you're yes, gonna be you're gonna be Alex. Okay. All right. All right. And I'll I'll move I'll move this screen up and down as we go, and then I'll put words in here where these images are. Like for instance, this is the egg salad equivalence or equivalency. Okay. So this is what egg salad is. So I'll put words up here. So that we understand what's going on. Hey, Iris. Hi. Hey, Iris. You have a lot of background noise, Iris. Maybe you have the verbling window open. Can you close the verbling window? It's closed. I'm gonna move the. the I'm gonna move it because there's a lot of people here. So. Yeah. So maybe that's why. So yeah, you wait. need to have a, a quiet background. Okay, guys. All right, we we'll finally get started. Yeah, and hey, Iris, just mute yourself. Okay. All right. There we go. So Christine is gone. I guess she's left. She's tired of it. She can't handle it. She can't handle the pressure. Okay. So anyway. Okay, guys. that's better. Uh, yeah, yeah. It sounds a little better. Okay. And you won't okay. be in the you won't be in the first scene anyway, Iris. Okay. Okay. Right. Welcome to class. Welcome to class, Iris. And just stay muted when you're not speaking, okay? All right. So, so good. Nice, nice to meet you, Iris. Okay. So, everybody, Ahmed, Sheldon, go ahead. Get us started, guys. Well, I must say, Leonard, when I first heard you, uh, your idea for John Singa, I was skeptical. I can't blame you. Tiny, no? Tiny Twister was a complete bust. No, I was wrong. The looming thread of being crushed under a pile of lumber does add a certain spice. I've never felt so alive. Oh, hello, Alex. Oh, let me go get your last night recording. What recordings? Well, you remember when you told me I talked in my sleep? Well, it occurred to me that, like most things that say, it's a public field goal. So I started recording it at eight old. And now I get to come through eight hours of what I like to call children after dark. Hey, Leonard. Hey, just play a little Jen Jenga here. Oh, I know. I'm the one who had to buy him the helmet. So, do you have any plans this weekend? Well, most of Saturdays, gonna be figuring out, we, out where to pu put this game when 
well done. How about you? Oh, I'm gonna go see Kip Thorne give a lecture on subatomic space time. Oh, that's that's his take on John Wales quantum foam. That should be great. Well, if you want, you can come with me. Go ahead, Leonard. Ah, I would love to, but I'm supposed to hang out with Penny. Well, bring her. Well, she's not really in, into that kind of stuff. Yeah, okay, well, if you want to hear the ballet lecture, I can tell you all about it at work or, you know, over dinner sometime. What? Okay, so good, good, good guys, good guys. Sorry, right, so we got to the first. Teacher. Yes. Yep. Uh, I'm. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry, but uh, I'm beginning, as you know. Yeah, it's okay. You didn't do then, anything. Then uh, I'm reading with the. No, 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 no. It's I have, okay. Uh, I have problems. It's okay. Everybody's doing fine. Okay. And I'm. I'm not. It's mad. my second time. It's my, it's my second time with English. Yeah, no, and. It's uh, no, it's no Problem. I'm digging here. No problem. Mm -hmm. Everybody's okay, all right? The only time that you ever see me get upset is just when people come to class without working microphones or if they have their dog in the background or their mom throwing down on their baby sister or something, okay? That's the only time. Every time else, I'm fine. And I don't mind. You did a great job. So let, let's talk about a few of these words, guys, because I'm not here just to, you know, just have you read stuff for the heck of it, right? Okay? So let's look at this. So yeah, what they're talking about are these different games. So there's a game called Jenga. I don't know if you've seen this or not. But Jenga is a game where you continue to take out these different blocks until finally it falls. Also, there's a game that's really popular, or was popular in the US, called Twister. You spin this wheel, and then you decide where you're supposed to step with your hand or your legs, and then you end up just playing Twister like this. And end up jumping all over each other. All right. So when something's a complete bust, that means that it wasn't good. It was an idea that didn't really um, survive. Okay. So when it talks about the looming threat of being crushed under a pile of lumber, so what they're talking about here is giant Jenga. So a larger version of Jenga that uses wood. Okay. Uses lumber. Uses big pieces of wood. Okay. And then here we go. Let's see. And then helmet. They need to wear a helmet because if they have big pieces of wood, they need to protect their head. A helmet is something that you also wear um, when you're uh, when you're driving a motorcycle, for example. Okay, so good, good. So those were our first few characters. They did a good job. Okay, Iris, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. And where are you from, Iris? I'm from Mexico. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, and don't worry, folks. Some some guys are going to play girls' parts, and some um, some women are going to play boys' parts. Okay, that's just the way this goes. All right. So, yeah. Iris, yes. you're going to be Howard. You're be Howard. Okay. Time to just come up with Howard. Okay. All right. Okay. And then uh, MD, are you ready, MD? Yeah. You're going to be Raj. Okay. You're okay. going to be Raj. All right. And then um, oh. Soraya made it in here. Black Squid Paella Soraya. Soraya, can you be uh, Leonard? Of course. Okay. And then let's see right here. So Howard, Raj, Leonard, and then we need, um, let me see if we have an Alex in here. No? Okay. So, okay. So once again here, all right, uh, Iris is going to be Howard. MD okay. is going to be Raj, uh, Soraya, you're going to be Leonard, and that's it. Okay, go ahead, Iris. Oh, come on. That can be true. Yeah, I did I did the search toning. The tiger digs, digs the fo frog, Cam scratch, token Sam, count chocolate, Tricks, Robin, Rabbit, Snap, 
crackle crackle and pop not it's not clear yes yeah. yeah. so, one, one circle muscat is a girl it's a total breakfast sausage fest are we done with this yeah almost frankly berry bo berry sugar berry sugar beer and the honey it's jumbling <laughs> nut cross b i believe his name is buzz terrific something weird happened and i don't know what to do about it what's going on Sheldon's assistant asked me on a day last night how would you do that me you know i have i have been working it with alex for weeks working it you can't even talk to her i talk with my eyes you look a little my you look like my little cousin when he's dropping one in his diaper she knows i have a girlfriend it's so weird Oh my god you are loving that this to my bones i mean i'm not going to do anything about it i love penny it's just nice to have a young attractive woman sniffing around the gates i both hate you and want want to i both hate you and want want to be you this is rian gosling all over again okay and leonard uh, i sorry i just I was looking sheldon no it's sheldon um let's see raj uh leonard oh yeah sheldon i'm sorry go ahead sheldon and do we not have a sheldon did i miss one here yeah we have one oh my gosh wow dumb teacher tulo <laughs> Hey, Dulo, you want to be Sheldon? Yeah, you look like a Sheldon. Yeah, of course. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. All right, okay. Go ahead, Sheldon here. Sheldon, let me see here. Where he is? Yeah. Text. I, highl I highlighted it here, and also too, I'll uh, put it in the chat. You can search for it in the uh, chat. Okay. Oh, gentlemen, what is the convent? conversational menu this morning Leander stone stone my woman and new full full well i was only 6 6 to 8 months away from making my move i didn't see you anyway your assist your assistant your assistant is totally hitting on this jerk and he love it well that's not a sitable i mean i'm her boss she needs to be solely focused on my needs not distract distracted by your passy androgynous brand of sex sexuality i'm androgynous oh please look at your look at you with your pouty beast stung lips What do you guys think I should do? I I say you tell Alex your heart your heart belong to Penny. I provide her a shoulder to cry on and then roughly half half a year later I give it to her good. Okay, so good. And guys, it, this is this is a regular uh, like PG rated show, okay? So so please don't be mad at me if there's some stuff that's a little <laughs> little out there okay so so yeah so what this was talking about here when they talk about a sausage fest all right just so you get used to it okay a sausage fest means it's just a bunch of guys around all right they call it a sausage fest so what happened <laughs> is he was looking he was looking at all of the different uh characters that go on breakfast morning or uh, pardon me so breakfast cereal characters okay mascots in here. So he found out that like mostly all of them are male. If not all of them are male, okay? So that's why he calls it a sausage fest since they're all male, okay? All right? And 
Okay, so Sheldon's assistant, somebody who works for him, asked, uh, asked him on a date last night. Okay. I've been working it with Alex for weeks. Okay, so working it, trying to, trying to get a date and so forth. Okay, so, um, <laughs> so he has his girlfriend, Penny. He says, yeah, I'm not going to do anything about it. I love Penny. It's just nice to have a young, attractive woman sniffing around the goods. And what he means is this woman's attracted to her, to him. So just the goods, like him, he's the goods. All right. And let's see. Yeah, and this word here is conversational menu. So what they're talking about is Sheldon comes in, ah, gentlemen, what is on the conversational menu this morning? So we know what a menu is, right, when you go into a restaurant. So he's referring to like a menu of conversations, like which conversation are we going to talk about um, this time. And when you make your move, he's going to make his move, like ask her out on a date. But six to eight months, that's a long time um, to take or to wait. Okay. All right. And let's see. And androgynous. Let's just look this thing up. It's a nice big word for us to look up in here. Because I want us to want to bring this up so you guys can make sure that you understand the phonetic spelling. Because when you come across a word like this, it's going to be difficult for you, right? It's going to be difficult for you to understand how to say it. So what you do is you look it up and you can see the phonetic spelling. And again, the phonetic spelling is going to tell you that right here, androgynous. Okay, so drog is where you have the um, the largest amount of intonation, okay? And this is where you are a hermaphrodite, where you're both male and female. So that's that's a pretty pretty big cut on you there, okay? Right? And hey Iris, we'll mute you when you're not speaking just because sometimes there's a little bit of sound that comes from you. It's okay though, Iris. No problem. Okay? So yep, bee stung lips. So and pouty. Here, let me show you pouting. You have to see pouting. Right, so this is when somebody's pouting. Mm, they're not happy. And bee stung, so your lips swell up if you're bee stung. Okay, so good, 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 good. All right, so, all right, everybody's doing a good job so far. And if I miss a character, please let me know, okay? So, Veronica, you can be Penny, okay? Okay. All right, and let's see here. Uh, I already forgot your name. Uh, Wish Joe, what, what's your name again? It's Julie, but it's okay. I love yes. So Julie, and I'm not making funny. I mean, I really am that simple-minded. So Julie, <laughs> um, <laughs> kid you not. So, you should be part of that uh, sausage fest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Sometimes I feel like my life's a whole big sausage fest. So, so Veronica, you're uh, you're gonna be petty. <laughs> so um, uh, you'll be you'll be Amy, okay? Okay, uh, pause and then you'll be Amy in here, all right? And let's see who else we have in here. Okay, so we'll go back here. We're going to start left to right again. Ahmed. Okay, you're going to be Sheldon. Okay. All right, you have that, Ahmed? Okay, I hope you're there, Ahmed. All right, and then uh, Soraya, can you be Bernadette? Of course. It's Sarai, by the way, but I know you Sarai, won't remember. Sarai, Sarai, sorry, Sarai. It's fine, no, it's fine, no problem. <laughs> so thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, and that, that's it. I think I have all the characters. I just have to make sure. Ahmed, are you there? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so go ahead. You're Sheldon. You start out, okay? And it's right here. This is where we're at right now. We're at Amy's apartment. Okay. Am I Sheldon again? No, 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 no. Um, that's going to okay. be uh, Ahmed, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's gone. Wow, he's gone, okay. Well, it looks like you can be Sheldon again then, Thulo. Go ahead. Play the part of Sheldon. All right, go ahead. Start Me? Out. Yep, go ahead. Okay. I want to thank you all for coming on such short notice. Mm, in the past, I've reached out of the each of, of you individuality, individually, 
but I believe my present situation requires the collective wisdom of the group, which as you can see from your com commemorative t-shirts, I have dubbed Sheldon Cooper's Council of Ladies. What is happening? I need your advice about a delicate workplace situation. Mm, I, to protect those involved, I will be changing their names. Who's involved? Well, a short, bespectacled colleague of mine who lives in the shadow of his brilliant homemate. Let's call this colleague Ricardo Chili Shali. You are talking about Leonard? No, no. Chili Shali has red heart and red hair, and he briefly served in the Mexican Navy. Anyway, despite the fact that he has a girlfriend, Chili Shali has been the recipient recipient of inappropriate workplace flirtations from a young lady. It was Alex, isn't it? No, no, no. This is a uh, Tom Delia della Ventimiglia. Wait, what's the hell going on with Leonard and Alex? No, no, I'm sorry. Who's talking about Lerner and Alex? Fine, Ricardo and Todel Todelaya. Okay, look, it's not really about Ricardo and Todelaya. It's really about her boss, who doesn't quit quite uh, now how to handle this situation and could use your advice, which is surprising because their doctor are. Einstein Vrom, von Brainstorm, he's usually pretty smart about these things. I'm gonna kill her. I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. Lerner would never cheat on you. She's right, but say the words, I got a lab for cocaine addicted monkeys with nothing to lose. One of them could end up in the back seat of her car or her shower. Ladies, ladies, please. We are not here to talk about Penny, okay? We are here to talk about me. Mm, I mean, I stand from brainstorm. Oh, darn it. All right, I guess the, the cat's off, out of the bag. Let me explain what's going on. Ricardo is really Leonard. We know what's going on, Sheldon. Well, what should I do? Well, Alex is your employee. If she's doing something that's making Leonard uncomfortable, you should talk to her. Oh no, he's not unco uncomfortable at all. No, he's loving it. Yeah, he's strutting around like he's five foot six. What? He's loving it? Sheldon, you need to talk to Alex right away. Talk to her? That's all you've got with uh, a cool name like Sheldon's Sheldon Cooper's County of Ladies. I really expected more. Give me back the the shirts. Okay, so good, so good. There's uh, <laughs> there's there's plenty of crazy humor in here. Okay, and some of it again, folks. Um, I mean, we're all adults here, so just take it as you know, just being adult talk with some of this. Okay, nothing bad. All right. Um, so yeah, commemorative, commemorative. So what that means is when you go to an event, you have some sort of uh, memorabilia. So in here you have commemorative t-shirts. Just like we have in the United States, we have um, the Super Bowl. So you'll have commemorative t-shirts of the Super Bowl. Okay, I would never own one, by the way. But you have a commemorative t-shirt. Okay, Super Bowl is done like this then, pardon me. So yeah, commemorative t-shirts. So what he's done is he just has his own little Sheldon Cooper's Council of Ladies. So collective wisdom, what collective wisdom is, is a group of people that get together, and that's the collective wisdom, what, what you come up with as a group instead of individually, all right? Okay, so delicate, so something that's delicate, it's hard to, um, to deal with. So this is a delicate situation. You can also have, like, 
delicate china, okay? China, for instance, okay? So really china that can break real easily, but it's really soft and really nice, really fine china. But this is a delicate situation, and it's in the workplace, so where you work, okay? Um, this is funny. He's going to change their names, even though we're all going to know what it is. So be speckled. I think you saw this. This is just somebody who's wearing glasses. That's all that is. Okay. And colleague, that's somebody that you work with. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. So flirtations, when you flirt with somebody, that's if you like somebody. And maybe you're giggling, you're making jokes, different things like that. Men flirt with women, women flirt with men. It goes both ways. All right. Okay. <laughs> You get in here. Yeah, and he's just <laughs> he's just making up a name in here, right? Dr. Einstein von Brainstorm, okay? So we know who Einstein is. Okay? And to brainstorm is to think of something. Alright, and this just sounds like a very German name in here. Okay, so cheat on you. If you're with somebody and you cheat on them, that means that you're with somebody else. And I'm sorry, folks, I know there's a reference to drugs in here, okay? But it's kind of funny, all right? Because what he's saying is, um, so a lab, so, and it's not, it's not good that you have monkeys, <laughs> monkeys and other animals in the lab, okay? All right? So you have monkeys in a lab. And what he's saying, yeah, anyway, that's not even a good picture. Um, just do this. So what he's saying is if you had a bunch of monkeys that are in a lab that are cocaine addicted, they would just go crazy. And what they mean by it could end up in the back seat of her car. So if you watch horror movies, okay, you have to you have to look because there are people sometimes that are in the back seat of your car and they're hidden down in there. And then you get in your car and you drive and then they, <laughs> they kill you. Okay? <laughs> and also the shower. The shower is another place. Um, <laughs> Sorry, imagine the monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah. So now you now you get the color of this, right? If I, of crazy cocaine addicted monkeys and when they say with nothing to lose all right you know with nothing to lose that means that scary. There's nothing, yeah there's nothing bad that's gonna happen by the by the way folks I will give you some advice okay never mess with somebody who doesn't have anything to lose with never mess with somebody who has nothing to lose I'm telling you well, with a monkey yeah especially a cocaine addicted monkey with nothing to lose <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, um, let's go in here. So, <laughs> so cats out of the bag. All right, this is this this expression is kind of sad in some ways. So, what used to happen is um, when people didn't have the means to you know spade and neuter their animals, what they used to actually do is they used to take little kittens and they would put them in a bag and they throw them in the river. But people out of the kindness of their heart, what they would do is they would find these cats, you know, they follow somebody who are going to do that, and then they would take the cat out of the bag, all right? So they wouldn't end up killing him. So that's when they say the cat's out of the bag. That means that we know, okay, it's no longer a secret. The cat's out of the bag. We know about this, okay? All right? Pretty crazy Excuse expression, me. huh? Sorry, mm -hmm. if I can ask you something, because yeah, I'm ahead. reading just before that sentence, uh, it says, oh, darn it, what's darn? D-A-R-N, it's, oh, is it darn it? it? Yeah. Yeah, I, so, I never heard it. Oh, yeah, so darn it, um, some people would also say D-A-M-M, -M. Yeah. oh, damn it, you know? Of course. So, yeah, so it's just an expression like, oh, darn it, you know, like, like ugh, yeah. you caught me, or like, oh, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've never heard it, never seen it before. Oh, okay, but yeah, darn it, darn it, say, uh, you know, when people that don't like to cuss, they'll use "oh darn it." Okay, some some people really don't don't even like um, "damn it," but "oh darn it," yeah, no, that's a uh, the common expression that us crazy people in the U.S. use. Um, okay, all right. Let's see. Let's go on here. Yeah. Okay. So good. 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 All right. So good. You all are doing well. And um, again, I know I kind of go through these lengthy explanations, but I want to make sure you all are learning as well. Hello, uh, Rennie. How are you, Rennie? Hi, Brett. Hi, everybody. I'm fine. How are you? Good, good. Doing well. Doing well. Okay, so on to another scene. Here we go. Okay, so let's get a new Sheldon in here, all right? So, Amin. Yes. Okay, 
You're going to be Sheldon, okay? All right? Okay. You're Sheldon, okay? Diego, a.k.a. Alex. You're Alex, Diego, okay? All right? So yes, sir. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is just a short one. Okay. Go ahead, Sheldon. Okay. Alex, check my children. What does my afternoon look like? I think it's pretty wide open. Oh, wait. Here's something at 4 o'clock. Give Alex a talking to. Well, that snuck up on us. Didn't it? Is there a problem? Let's not call it a problem. Let's call it an opportunity to solve a serious problem. What did I do? You don't know? Oh, you poor dear. You poor dear. Your ovaries are <laughs> squirting so much goofy juice into your <laughs> brains, you don't even know which way is up. You made an inappropriate uh, sexual advance towards Dr. Hoss uh, of Hofstadter. Yes. What? Of make, what? I didn't make a sexual advance on anybody. Now there is no need to get defensive. I'm not unsympathetic to your plight, please. My father used to say that a woman is like an egg salad sandwich on a warm Texas day. What? Full of eggs and only appealing for a short time. This conversation is making me uncomfortable. Yeah, you and me both, sister. Now, please understand, I don't told you responsibly for your behavior because see from, see from a evil children Evol evolutionary, evolutionary, evolutionary standpoint. You are a slave to your desire to reproduce, but during the work day, when you feel possessed by amorous, amorous, amorous intent, may a suction, amorous intent, may a suction that you suppress it, suppress it by. Uh, living throughout this illustrated book of sexually, sexually, yeah, sexually, sexually, sexually. trans, sorry, sexually transmitted <laughs> diseases. So, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so yeah. of sexually transmitted diseases. Let's see. Oh, oh yes. Check out this Uzi doozy. Oh man, I have to go. So does this fellow, but he can't without it burning like at hot soup. <laughs> okay, so let's let's go through some of the color of this because this uh, is actually really good. So yeah, so schedule. That's you know what I have to do at one o'clock, two o'clock. When somebody says it's wide open, it's pretty wide open. It means there's really nothing there. Okay, there's not maybe a few things, but pretty wide open. So there's nothing there at all. Okay. Okay, snuck up on us. So, yeah, when you sneak up on somebody, you know, you kind of quietly go behind them and maybe you push them, you scare them, you know, just on fun. So things can sneak up on you. So this snuck up on them. Okay? So this is funny. Is there a problem? Let's not call it a problem. Call it an opportunity. Opportunity to solve a various uh, or a serious problem. Very optimistic. Uh, excuse me. Sorry for being tongue twied optimistic so here your ovaries all right so again guys just bear with me okay it's just a joke okay but your ovaries so <laughs> man doesn't have ovaries a woman has ovaries okay without ovaries you can't produce an egg in order to have um, babies okay so goofy juice so that there's nothing called goofy juice it's just an expression so squirting so much goofy juice into his brains he doesn't even know which way is up 
So we say that about somebody. If they're really dumb, you don't even know which way is up, okay? And up just means like up or down, okay? Um, yep, so inappropriate, that's uh, what you shouldn't do, something that shouldn't be allowed. Uh, sexual advance and strutting, yeah, that's a good one, good one. So yeah, so strutting, when you strut, uh, let's see if we can, um, so it's like when you walk with your back here, let me, let me just show you, here. So this is strutting when you're strutting. In a, okay, so that's somebody who's strutting, all right? I don't know how else to do it, okay? There's not going to be a... Uh, so if you ever watch, like, Saturday Night Fever or any of this, yeah, this guy's strutting. That's a strut. Oh, there you go. That was a good picture. So, um, okay. So, so unsympathetic, it means you don't feel for the person, you know? So this one's not unsympathetic to your plight, to what's going on in there. So, and here, correcting Alex, okay. So here, guys, this is really funny, okay? This is really, actually, really funny, okay? It says it's like a woman is like an egg salad sandwich on a, and again, please don't anybody be offended, like an egg salad sandwich on a warm Texas day, all right? So if you look at an egg salad sandwich, okay? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So if you look like it, look at an egg salad sandwich. Just to let you know, it's made out of eggs, mayonnaise, okay, and different things that are gonna, that are gonna spoil. It's gonna spoil. So if it's out in the hot sun, Texas is very hot, okay. It's full of eggs and only appealing for a short time. The eggs that they're referring to, yes, are the eggs in the ovary, okay. So that's why. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, please don't take offense, okay? I'm not the one who wrote this. All right, so good. Let's get oh, – okay, so here we have to we have to look through some of this. Illustrated book of sexually transmitted diseases, okay? So I don't think you need an illustrated book to understand the bad things that can happen if you, uh, if you stray off the way or stray off the path. Okay, so good. So good. I didn't lose anybody. Nobody got offended yet. Um, I guess there's still time, though, huh? So, uh, Iris, can you be Penny? Okay. And then, uh, Rennie, can you be Leonard? Can you be Leonard, Rennie? Uh, yes, why not? Yes, why not? Okay, good, 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 good. And then, um, then I have Sheldon in here. So, uh, can yeah. I be Sheldon? Yes, you can. How did you know, Thulo? Okay. <laughs> okay. You must be reading my mind. Um, okay, good. Good. So that's all we have in here, all right? So just a few. Uh, teacher, what's the meaning of stay, stay well? I'm sorry. The title of sin, the stay well. The stay, so I'm sorry, say it again. Stay well. well. Oh, stairwell, stairwell, stairwell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. So stairwell. It's just, um, you know, like in an office and so forth, you have elevators and then you have a stairwell, okay? It's a stairwell. It's like when you have a fire or something and you need to use it. And also some places just have only a stairwell, okay? So, uh, okay. <laughs> so Rennie, you, you got you got to make sure when you start this, you have to start this one off right. You have to go like, hey. Pretty lady. Hey. Hey, pretty lady. <laughs> okay, keep on going. Oh, you seem extra happy. Oh, I guess I am. Any particular reason why? I don't know, just having a good day. This morning Sheldon fell asleep on the way to work, so I got to listen to the radio. That was pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Um I found this quiz online called which Star Trek character are you? And it only took me four tries to get Captain Kirk. <laughs> That's great. Oh, it was. Mm, well, I'm glad you're having such a great day. Yeah, and the only thing that could make it even better is uh, if an evening with my special guest. Oh, and who's that? What did you mean? Oh, I just didn't know if you mean me or Alex. Hmm, why should I mean Alex? Because I know she hit on you and I know you like it. What? 
Don't play dumb with me, Ricardo Shilishali. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing something. Did you say something to paint about Alex? Oh yes, yeah. Uh, and I felt and I felt a lot of good. It did me. All she did was uh, get mad at you. Why should you do that? I needed advice about a woman. I would have asked you. But if the last few years have proven anything, is that you can't tell a uh, uterus from an unicycle. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Unless I know to blab to a girl about somebody flirting with her boyfriend. Good to know. Yeah, I've a few more helpful hints like that. You may find her yourself on the Council of Ladies. Hello, I see what time? Very well then. Uh, that was a human resource department at the university. Apparently my assistant Alex has filed a complaint accusing me of inappropriate behavior in the workplace. Oh my god, what did you do? Let me think nothing. I'm a delight. I'm a, I'm a delight. Yep, I'm a delight. So that's mean just somebody who's fun. I'm a delight. Also, food can be a delight. There's a lot of things that can be a delight. Um, let's see here. So, okay. So, yeah, not yeah, not much here. There's not much here. There's one, one little expression, but you either get it or you don't. Um, okay. Okay, so good, good, good. All right, I think this might be the last scene that we can squeeze in here. Hello, Musad. Hi, Musad. Okay. And uh, Luisa. Hi, Luisa. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hey, Luisa. Hi. Hey, Louis okay. And hey, Musad, how are you? Hello, Musad. Yep, okay. So, yeah, guys. Hey, Musad, just kind of hang out for now, okay? Yeah, Musad. Yeah, hello, Musad. Musad, close the verbling window, okay? Close the verbling window. You have it open. Musad, just just hang out. It's okay. Just watch the class for now, okay? You're, you're a little late. Yeah. No, Musad. Musad, stay, stay muted, okay? Stay muted, okay? Just, just stay muted. Please stay muted, okay? So, Luisa. Hi, Louisa. Can you see the <laughs> screen here? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. So, Louisa, if you can see the screen here, you're going to be the HR woman, okay? You're the HR woman, all right? Okay. Okay. All right. And uh, let's see who else is in here. Yeah, just Sheldon. Um, I just want to start this, this sentence. This is quite funny. Uh, so this. You want it? I'll tell you what. You can. Uh, yeah. Usually I don't take requests, but I'll, I'll take a request this time, Rennie. So Rennie, <laughs> and guys, this will be the last scene because after this, um, yeah. we need to. Uh, we need to. I need to leave because I have another class. So go ahead, Lisa, human resource woman, and Rennie, Sheldon. Go ahead, guys. Start out. Oh, yes. I just want to say yes. Human resources department. Human resources department. <laughs> Human resources department. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going, Sheldon. Don't worry about it. Go ahead. <laughs> hello. Go me. Yeah, ah, hello. the first Cooper. Have a seat. Thank Have you. a seat. I call it join today because you're because you're. Assistant Alex has lodged, lodged, and that means like to to give has, a complaint. Mm -hmm. Has lodged, lodged a complaint against you. So I think, oh, um, but I can't understand why she has uh, to complain about. I mean, uh, she has a front row seat. As I make scientific history, uh, there's string cheese in my mini fridge, and that's. For anyone, yeah. And just yesterday, I led her away from a life of sexual promiscuity by making her look at pictures of disease-ridden genitalia. 
Cancel my first appointment. This is gonna take a while, Dr. Cooper. To say things to your employee that you just cannot say in the workplace. Like what? Well, according to Miss Jensen, you said that she was a slave to her biological urges and called her an egg salad sandwich. I don't even know what that means, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, you can stay it. Oh, I see the confusion here. No, no, Alex thought it, uh, I was singling her out. No, I meant uh, that all women are a slave to their biological urges, you know? <laughs> Even you, you are a slave. Am I what? Well, uh, um, you know, um, I'm just saying, you know, certain <laughs> point in a woman's menstrual cycle. <laughs> You can talk about that later. Dr. Cooper, your language is entirely inappropriate, and I'm going to advise that you shoot your mouth right now. I don't see why I'm the only thing for security here. Dr. Hobbs started with, uh, he was bragging about his sexual uh, desirability to anyone who would listen. You know, and Howard Balovitz, he spent two years using university resources of building a six-breasted sex robot. Oh, and at the office Christmas party, I heard Rajesh Kutrapali refers to uh, you several times as brown sugar. Um, hoops, Taylor, Gologuit, and the last one was Rajesh Kutrapali. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, no, yeah, but um, I mean, he's a friend that, um, that wasn't racist, he's also brown. Okay, so, <laughs> so good, so, so I, I, I'm sorry, but I pushed this last right to the last minute, I have to go to the next one, okay? So, um, and by the way, guys, if for some reason this is too racy or something like that, um, feel free, just post on my Facebook, let, let me know, okay?